Hello everyone, and welcome to Super Nintendo Gamer. I am Alex, and today I got news on two new Nintendo Gwicks this month. Okay, well, it's been a while since we had Nintendo Gwick, but Nintendo has just announced two new Nintendo Gwicks this month. So, we're going to Nintendo is going to be at GameCom this year. Okay, the two new Nintendo Gwicks will show both Super Mario Odyssey and Metroid Samus Returns. Now on August 23rd, at 3 o'clock p.m., the first Nintendo Gwick will show Super Mario Odyssey. And on, and on August 24th, at 12 o'clock p.m., the second Nintendo Gwick will show Metroid Samus Returns. Okay, I've seen both of these games, and there's both spectacular. The stories, the characters, the gameplay, the graphics, beautiful and super. Okay, we i seen Super Mario RC on on YouTube this year at E3. I gotta say, that game is just beautiful. So I've been a fan of Mario since a long time. I say Super Mario RC is the best platform game to make. And I haven't got to play it yet, but what I've seen of it, it looks very, very super good. And I love it how Mario throws his little cap, throws his little cap, cappy, and captures stuff. Use it to bounce off of. Or smack the enemies. Or, and I love it how he changes his outfit. It's kind of like how Link could change his outfit in Breath of the Wild. And that's kind of like Mario's doing. Where he can change his, like, he could have his, like, his old classic cap on. With an explorer's outfit. Or a chef's outfit with a tuxedo outfit on. You mix them up. Like in Breath of the Wild. Now, in Metroid Samus Returns, it's a remake of the old classic Game Boy game that was released in 1991, Metroid 2, Samus, Return of Samus. Okay, i seen this remake and it was spectacular. Good. The game looks very beautiful in 3D. i seen the E3 Quayla eShop demo and it was, Quayla was just beautiful. The 3D graphics just looks like if you was actually there battling the Metroids and aliens and exploring the caves. But there's one thing about the difference between this version of Metroid 2 and the original version. This version maybe is a little bit older because it does have a little bit more, maybe a little bit more violence than the previous one. But what I think about it, I think it still will be an okay game, and it will be still spectacular. Because this version of Metroid 2 is maybe for maybe a little bit for older players. Uh, not for like little children like the original version because this one does have a little bit maybe a little bit more scarier stuff but still what well, I've seen it but it still looked like a pretty good game with the exploring the 3D graphics and battling the Metroids and they said the game both games will support me but support both Super Mario RC and Metroid Samus Returns now they said Metroid Samus Returns Samus has a new move called has a new like energy move that she can do different special attacks on enemies and enemies can cause big maximum of damage. Yes. Oh, oh, and also they're gonna really the two new amiibos with it: the Samus Returns amiibo and the Metro amiibo. They say the Met. I was reading on the on Quizzer. They said the Metro amiibo. They said it's actually squishy. Hmm. I wonder how that feels. That's kind of like the Guardian's legs that you twist in turn. I wonder how the Metroid's going to feel. The Metroid feels kind of squishy, you see. Since we never really, since they don't, since we never really, really got to touch one, I guess the Metroid's, I guess when you touch it, the me, the Metroid me, but really feels squishy. That's why I read on the Quitter. Okay, that's pretty much wrapping up for these two games, for this, for these two games on this video. Super Mario Odyssey will release October 27th of this year. Metroid Samus Returns will release September 13th of this year. Yeah. And I hope you continue for more updates on these games in the future. And hit the button down below to subscribe for more Super Gameplay, Super Game News from Super Nintendo Gamer. I'm Alex, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.